Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at a common algorithms question, the greedy interval scheduling problem. Suppose we have a list of events, and each event is in the format a, b, where a is the starting time, inclusive, and b is the ending time, exclusive. A person can only be at one of these events at a time, and they can immediately go from one event to another if two events have a coinciding stop and start time, respectively. So we want to find the greatest number of events that a person can attend. So in order to solve this problem, we're going to need to take a greedy approach. In other words, at any step in our algorithm, we want to take the best possible option at that particular step. So there are two possibilities, and we'll go over why the first one doesn't work. So the first option we have is to sort our list of intervals by first and then second value. Our list would then become 1, 3, 2, 5, 6, 18, 7, 12, and 14 comma 16. Now we might then say that we want to go from left to right in this list. And at any point, if the person isn't already in an event, we'll put them in an event. Let's draw out our events on this number line. We'll say that for each of these line segments, the start will represent the starting time and the end will represent the ending time. So for example, we can say that one comma three goes from here to here, and then two comma five goes from here to here. And then six comma eight goes from here all the way to around here. And then seven comma 12 goes from the middle of six and eight all the way to 12. And then 14 comma 16 goes from here to here. So let's perform our greedy algorithm. We can pick the first interval one comma three. And then after that, we can't pick two comma five because we're occupied during that time. So the next possible option is 6, 18. So that's this interval right here. And that takes us to the end. We can't do any more of these intervals. So the greatest number of intervals that we have is 2. However, this isn't the largest number of events we could attend. We could have either attended 1 to 3, 7 to 12, and 14 to 16, or 2 to 5, 7 to 12, and 14 to 16. There are three intervals in both. So where do we go wrong? Well, the place where this went wrong was that we sorted by start times. So we could start earlier than another time, but we could potentially end way farther than we really need to. For instance, this interval from 6 to 18 takes up so much time that we could have actually spent doing more of other events. Now let's take a look at the second greedy approach. Instead of sorting by start time, we sort by end time first. The reason this works is that we want to be able to end as early as possible to start the next event right after. It's more preferable to end earlier than to start earlier. So let's perform this new greedy algorithm. So we can remove this existing list that we have. And we can begin by sorting by second value. So our list becomes 1, 3, 2, 5. And then here's where it changes. 7, 12, 14, 16, and 6, 18. And we can see here that instead of having the 6, 18 in the middle, we're actually putting that at the end because it ends way later than the rest of these events. Now we might say that we want to go from left to right in this list. And at any point, if the person isn't already in an event, we put them in an event, just like with the previous algorithm. Let's draw out our events on this number line. So we'll say that for each of these line segments, the start will represent the starting time and the end will represent the end time. So we have our intervals right here indicated in red. So let's just clear these purple marks here. So let's perform our greedy algorithm. We pick the first interval that we can, which is 1, 3. After that, we can't pick 2, 5 because we're occupied during that time. And then the next possible option is going to be 7, 12. And then we end with 14, 16. And that takes us to the end. So we completely skip 6, 18 and 2, 5. Now that we've done this, we can see that we could attend three events rather than two. So we could attend this one here, this one here, and this one here. So our solution works. The main idea here is to end as early as possible to get to the next event rather than to start as early as possible to get to the next event. So let's go ahead and implement this algorithm in Python. So here we're just starting off with a sample list of intervals that we had used in our explanations. So it just has 1, 3, 7, 12, 2, 5, 6, 18, 14, 16, and it's not sorted in any particular order. So the first step of our algorithm is to actually sort this. And so we want to do a keyed sort, so intervals.sort, and we want to apply a key. So 
So key is equal to lambda x. And so this allows us to prioritize how we want to sort. So we want to sort based on second element and then first element. So we'll do x bracket 1 and then x bracket 0. Once we have that, we can actually start the process of traversing through these sorted list of intervals. So we can create a count variable, count is equal to zero, and count will keep track of the greatest number of events that we could visit. Now, just for reference, we'll also keep a list called visited. This is not required in your algorithm, but we're just keeping it so then we can see what intervals we're actually going to include. And then we're going to need one more variable called end. And this one is required for this program to work because end is going to keep track of the current time that we're at in terms of event scheduling. So it'll be a negative one. So every time we visit a new interval, we'll check to see if we're still in an event right now. And if we're not in an event, we will update end. So that's actually the next part. So we can say for interval in intervals, and we wanna check if end is less than or equal to interval bracket zero. And the reason we do this is just so then we know that if this is true, then we have finished an event and we're ready to move on to the next event. And if we are ready to move on to the next event, we update end, indicating that we're currently in an event, in a new event. So end is equal to interval, bracket one. That'll be our new stop time. And then we want to increment count by one because we've been able to attend a new event. Count plus equals one. And then we have the optional line visited dot append interval. And we're just including this line so we can see what intervals, what events we're able to attend. It's not required, of course. And so that's it for this algorithm. Finally, we can just print count. That is the greatest number of events we were able to visit. And then we'll also just print visited. And that's all we have to do here. So let's go ahead and run this program. And we should see that we're able to attend three events. We can attend 1, 3, 7, 12, and 14, 16. We'd even try this with another list. Suppose I have the list of intervals is equal to 100, 200, 150, 700, 50, 70, 39, 48, and 234, 546. So we can run this again. And this time, let's also just print after we sort intervals what it looks like, just so we can see. So print intervals. And then let's run this code. And we should see that we get this sorted list. And it should be sorted in terms of the second value being prioritized over the first value. And then we see that we can attend a total of four events. And our algorithm prioritized the 39 to 48 event, 50 to 70, 100 to 200, and 234 to 546. And we left off the event 150 to 700. So that's it for this program. It's a very easy algorithm to implement, and it's a good starting point for if you're going to get more into greedy algorithms. So thank you for watching this video, and I hope this was helpful.